Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Annabelle and today is just a vlog day. I'm gonna go ahead and just try to vlog as much as possible. I feel like I've been telling myself every single day, I'm gonna vlog, I'm gonna vlog, and then I don't. So this is the start of a new day. Today is Sunday. My goal is gonna be to try to post this literally today by this evening. If not, the latest it'll go up is Wednesday. So you'll be seeing this like right away. But anyways, today, like I said, is a vlog day. It's morning. It's 9.40. I thought about waking up a lot earlier because I wanted to cut the grass. Our grass is like super overgrown and it's time. And I've been putting it off for the longest. And Matthew had helped me out with mowing the front yard because we have an HOA, so we have to make sure to maintain that as much as possible. And then it was like, he was like, oh, I'll cut the front. And then I told him, I was like, okay, yeah, and I'll cut the back in the evening. And then I never did. So, epic fail. Um, but anyways, we're gonna go ahead and take care of that now. So the plan is, while I mow, Matthew's gonna trim. And yeah, let's hope it's not as difficult as it is because it's supposed to rain this week. So we have to make sure to take care of that as soon as possible. And then I bought more of the um, stain for the fence. Um, I don't think I showed you all, but I did stain the entire fence. There's just like a little section missing. So I want to make sure to like cut the grass and get that done like before it starts raining um i'll see when i can do the stain because i don't know if i can do that today but we'll see maybe i will um anyways but today's sunday like i said and then later on at like one ish we do have church bingo at matthew's parents church and that's the plan we'll, we'll see how today goes hopefully today's a good one but anyways let's go ahead and get this vlog started <laughs> Okay, so this is the before. It's literally so overgrown. We've just been putting it off, honestly, and we've gotten a lot of rain, so. But yeah, it's not too bad, um, especially because I've been trying to grow out some grass here because it's been kind of dormant, dead, whatever. So I'm trying to get this fixed, but oh my gosh, it's so hot. It's so humid, but whatever, we gotta get it done. If you couldn't tell, I'm exhausted, but we did it, look. It looks so good. Well, kind of good. I still need to fix it. I still need to use the toucher to like lift the dead grass so new grass can come in. But so far, so good and I'm happy with it. So, yay. This was like my goal. Oh, and if you can see, that right there is what I missed. Like I don't I didn't have any more stain I ran out. So I bought some more and I can't wait to finish that out. Probably do that this evening, if not sometime this week cuz I'm so tired right now. But anyways, I'm gonna go shower because I am as red as a tomato and rest and have breakfast because I haven't had breakfast. So anyways, I'll talk to you in a little bit. All the birds. I didn't realize how messed up my hair looked, but anyways, we are headed out to church and here's Matthew. <laughs> He's gonna be so upset when I, <laughs> when he knows that I showed him on camera. Not upset, but just like, Annoyed. Did you make sure to lock the front? Yeah, we can double check. We made it to church. What ha are they remodel? Are they redoing stuff? This one's a crepe myrtle, right, Matthew? been trying to stay consistent at least for the most part I feel like I've been doing pretty decent um today is going to be just a fun little craft day we'll see how it goes I um Matthew had gotten tickets to go see he loves baseball games I think some of y'all that follow me that have watched my videos for some time may know this but he loves baseball games and he bought tickets to um the round rock express i believe it's what they are i'll double check and i'll put it up on the screen um but it's going to be like a taylor swift night so that is super exciting i'm really looking forward to that and because of that i brought out 
some beads to make friendship bracelets. But uh, what's gonna be a little different about that is that I'm gonna use fabric. And I brought out some of the fabric that I've had in my little stash here. Um, I got this at Joann's literally just today. I thought, you know, might as well. I love buying fabric for like, honestly, I'll show you all for my, hopefully my bookmark just my, yeah, it's about to fall, my book. I have like a little book end holding my, my, my currently, the book that I'm reading currently and my little Hobonichi and I love buying fabric to change out the covers and make it seem different for myself every now and then during the seasons and whenever I go to Hobby Lobby or Joann's I may go a little crazy and not even use the fabrics like I kind of am doing now <laughs> but it's okay um, this time around I figured I'm gonna try to make as many braces as possible with the beads that I have right now and if for whatever reason I run out then I plan on buying more and making literally as many as I can with majority with a lot of the fabric that I have so I'll show you the little patterns that I have I bought this one that has like kind of like music stuff like it has a violin music notes um, to go with this black polka dotted one um, and I thought that was like a cute kind of like going for like torture poets department vibes and then I got this green one because it goes with a lot of the other um, ones that I like like it goes I feel like it goes with all of these so I hope you can kind of see where I'm going with this I honestly just got these because I, I'll put it up on the screen but I've seen a lot of um, creators or people make bracelets with fabric kind of like the shabby chic um, the shabby shack is that what it's called is it shabby shack I don't know but it's like these specific style of bracelets they either make it just with a piece of fabric or they'll make it like kind of braided um, with different patterns so that's kind of why I bought so many different patterns I thought these would kind of look good together um, and this one I actually got for this fabric I thought it went really cute together and it kind of gives me like lavender haze vibes but also kind of lover vibes and I have a lot of other fabrics that could also give that same vibe um, so I got all of those and then I really like this one I thought it was like really cute and like summery so we'll see I just want to make a ton of them and see how this turns out because I'm not really sure how this is going to turn out but anyways um yeah I really honestly just wanted to record this like for no specific reason I also have these little charms I don't know if I'll even be able to use them actually I don't think so because I left the yeah well I mean I could but they're like letter charms and I feel like I, re I really wouldn't be able to use them because it's not like I'm making them personalized with like someone's name so that kind of makes no sense so I'll set these off to the side for another project but I do have like these little um little bead charms that I can add to it and I also have these that have like different shapes like hearts um it has hearts I think I used all the stars there's like a couple stars there but I figured I could use them to add a little bit of color to it but yeah let's let's go for it let's see what happens um and honestly I just wanted to hang out with you all I feel like I haven't really dying over here I feel like I haven't done like a sit down and chat type of thing um so I thought that would be kind of fun for us um I'm trying to figure out which one to start with I feel like this also kind of goes together but at the same time like does it does it not I don't think so um, I also have all these other fabrics I could use like this one it's like kind of polka dot to add a little bit more color to it um, yeah I feel like I may do that I also have a bright green one just like a solid bright green like this and it would go with this and then this is that like I feel like that's too much green so maybe we'll put the green away for now okay I'm kind of thinking like this may be my best bet 
yeah i'm gonna do that let's see what happens this is my first time making this style of bracelets but i thought it would be fun like i said i'm gonna cut this little part off that has like the letters so i feel like and i don't know where my fabric scissors are at i know i have some i just don't know where they're at but i know that i could probably just do this thing yeah because i do want to give it that like teared effect so it honestly would be just a lot easier to do that so um i don't know how thick so i think i'm gonna go with maybe i feel like that's like about an inch thick about <laughs> yay okay oh you know what maybe i should have done lengthwise because this is gonna be braided but we'll still see how that looks the gold because i think it'll look cute with this gold polka dot one um so clearly i've used a lot of them so i just i'm gonna start with just the normal thing that i would do so i'm gonna do swifty wait do i have any eyes i have one eye <laughs> i f wait do i have any f's yeah so that means I don't have another eye for the other part. Um, bring up some of this and hopefully this works because otherwise I don't know what I'm going to do. But this is just some wire that I have. It's like soft wire. I figured this would probably be the easiest way to try to string the beads through. It's so, so tiny and it's just not going to. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up to work out honestly that totally sucks that totally sucks so much yes it does and it wouldn't even if i had wire i think i would be able to you know well i don't think this is going to work out either way but i punctured it through the fabric i just think it's too thick Yep, too, too thick. So not sure if you notice the difference. I'm not frustrated. I'm going to say I'm not frustrated to like kind of work that into my mind. <laughs> but I um, was not able to do the bracelets. I actually just ordered um, the beads that I need. So the ones that I have are like, ignore my mess back there. <laughs> But I have like the round ones that the holes are pretty small. I'm pretty sure I showed me trying to string the beads in the fabric. Obviously, that was not happening because the um, that was my chair. I did not fart. <laughs> if I did, I would tell you. But um, no, I was not able to string the beads through the fabric. But I have a ton of other little to do's i have this little notepad thing that natasha from la casa natasha sent to me and um i started using it right away because this is so cute like i haven't even seen this and i love the little cover it's adorable but anyways i just got it today and today's tuesday so obviously i'm not going to fill this out because i'm using another planner for that but um i wrote down like a little to do's right here of like all the crafty things that i have to do immediately and um i don't have to do them all immediately but um my best friend who whoops i swear all the things are like breaking i have these like um lego flowers on my desk in like a little vase like a book vase type of thing and i like touched it and one of the petals fell <laughs> So it feels like everything's low-key going wrong but it's okay um i have like a list of things that i want to do one of them being or some of them being that my best friend that recently got married i, I shouldn't even say recently it was like back in what like december no january i don't even remember i think it was no it was january February gosh I don't know um, but she got married recently I think I told y'all when I went to her bachelor in Cancun um, but she's having a baby um, she is due in September which is so exciting I'm so happy for her um, but obviously being the creative one in the bunch I've signed myself up for a lot sometimes feels like a lot more than I can handle but it seems like every single time I like show up and make things happen although 
I get a little frustrated at times, but it's because I leave things to, for last minute every single time. But I want to make for her um, baby shower, I need to make like the pacifier necklaces. I got this cute little book here. I wanted to order a custom one, but it wouldn't come in on time. So I bought this one by Joanna Gaines and kids it says illustrated by juliana sweeney i'll link it down below it's pretty inexpensive but her theme is um baby in bloom so it's like flowers and garden and stuff like that so i thought this would be perfect and i wanted to cut some vinyl to add her baby's name right here because what i want to do with this is have like a little sign that says um something i'll try to find a picture of it and i'll post it up here but i want to i want for it to be like a guest book so it'll be like a little story that her mom or her dad can read to her or even her as she's growing up and it could have like a message from like her aunt or her um i don't know like her grandma or me or whoever just like a little message like can't wait to meet you happy that that you're I don't know just any little message that you want to share with her and I thought it was really nice and I love the illustrations on it they're just like very soft and cute and I feel like it's something that can grow with her and um that could you know just be comforting for her in the years to come the custom one I wanted one was beautiful it was on Etsy I will still share a picture of it in case anybody is interested or is wanting to do something like that it was kind of pricey but it included a lot of stories so i think that's where it made it worth it but it wouldn't come in on time her baby shower is going to be august the 10th and it's totally my fault for waiting and putting it off but um this one obviously it was available on amazon so i'm just going to make sure to customize it for her and put her baby's name and then the other thing is i'm doing a welcome sign let me show it to you hold on so i am making her a welcome sign so i bought this canvas at Joann's and it's pretty big I mean it's kind of like my entire body over here and um, like I said her theme is um, baby in bloom so I added all of these little flowers to it and I had put some washi on it I thought it looked kind of cute but I know she's not gonna like that I felt like it kind of helped add a little bit of interest to it but I know she's not gonna like the way that looks so it kind of helped me just place the flowers on there and make sure that I liked them there before I glued the flowers on to the canvas so now that I know she likes it and she's happy with it I'm gonna go ahead and remove the washi tape and then I'm going to cut up some vinyl. She told me, I asked her if I should do gold or black. I was leaning more towards black because it would stand out more. And when I asked her, she also agreed. So I'm just going to put like baby in blue. Welcome to, um, and their name's baby shower. So I think that would be perfect. So <laughs> although the other idea that I had of making bracelets didn't work out, I figured I would continue vlogging because like I like vlogging, I like talking to a camera and it honestly keeps me kind of accountable and make sure that I actually do the things that I have to do. Um, but along with that, since right now the things that I want to um, check off is cutting the vinyl so i want to customize the book customize the welcome sign and then i also am going to print i'm going to cut out some um my name in the vinyl and black vinyl since i'm already using it i figured might as well because i have a planner that i just got um it's this one right here i'm excited it's a happy planner and i'm going to put my name on it and also need to cut up another one for another planner that i have so i figured since i have the cricut out and I brought out the vinyl. I might as well do all the things. <sighs> okay, it seemed like everything was going against me. So the book scratched that because I ruined it. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Probably have to order another one, but look what happened when I was trying to transfer the vinyl. This happened like it teared so I'm super sad about that but I'll have to you know figure that out okay I'll have to figure that out another time 
Um, I did cut up the vinyl with my name. I just haven't, you know, taken off the excess vinyl, um, weaved the vinyl, I guess is what it's called. And then I did this. The sign. So that's going to be for the welcome sign. I'm just now removing all the, like, oh no, are you freaking kidding me? The O's came off. No, and I already ruined that, so shit. See, everything is going wrong. Look at that. The OOs. Ugh. You're kidding me. Well, you know. No, I can't believe it. I can't believe I didn't notice that. I feel stressed, oddly enough. Um, I haven't really talked to you all about this, but I started like this therapy stuff literally yesterday and it's called tms therapy it's kind of scary looking if i'm being honest like when my doctor mentioned it to me the first time i freaked out and i was like no way am i doing that like that's no that's not for me um i guess it scared me because of the way i don't know it just seems i i wasn't allowing myself to like be educated about it like I as soon as my doctor mentioned it and he tried to kind of explain to me how it was I immediately just kind of shut off but um, the next time I saw him and he asked me how I was feeling about it if I had made if I had thought about it or anything like that I told him that I, I was honest with him I was like no it kind of freaked me out I immediately just thought like it's not my thing um, and he's like okay completely understand like no worries and then um, he's like well let me just like kind of explain it a little bit further to you and he's like let me send you a couple of links to how the procedure works and how what it's like and you know we can still talk about it with like no pressure of like having to do this but um then I think like the third appointment after he mentioned it initially, I then asked him like more information about it and I told him that I was interested in it just to, I figured why not give it a try? Like it's not going to hurt. Um, and I think, I don't know if this is like relatable in any way, but I feel like when you get to a certain a point where like nothing is working or where you feel like you've tried everything you kind of like stop asking so many questions and just go with it and agree to whatever it is that your doctor is recommending i think i'm definitely like at that stage <laughs> it's so odd but um and two it helped that i did my research and also like allowing myself to see more of the positive than the bad um and realistically like i don't think there's any like big side effects to it other than if it does work it'll be good i'll get to add a link to the sign and it looks like it's gonna look pretty awesome so pretty excited about this and hopefully she likes it uh, if she doesn't too bad i'm not gonna redo it but i'm gonna go ahead and end this video here since i feel like all the little things that i wanted to do i couldn't do but um yeah i love you guys i will see you all next week i was trying to post once a week and then i failed i think it was last week and i was like oh, i'll just post on sunday like no big deal and then i just kept putting it off and then i had content like i recorded videos i just never edited them and i was like whatever like eventually i'll just post those i feel like every now and then when i feel like i haven't recorded content or i haven't felt like recording content i'll have a bunch of like little snips and i'll just put, put them together and share them with you all um but for this one i'm gonna go ahead and try to put together as much as i can and then post it and hopefully we can get back to like regular content but either way i will talk to you all next week love you guys and if you enjoyed this video i know it was hectic but if you enjoyed it please subscribe and i will see you all next time bye